like regular old D-Rich, man. I'm just used to taking the beating, so, I mean, it's fine. I mean, hey, you wake up sore, but just get back to treatment and get back to work, you'll be fine. Look at the numbers that the team is putting up, uh, 100% in rips on offense, uh, number one in uh, first downs. Are you happy with the rush game is right now for the game? I told y'all it was only a matter of time before y'all get to see everything we're doing, so of course I'm happy with it. I mean, we were winning games, we're 3-0. and Getting ready to start conference play, um, conference play, so very excited about that and very excited to see what the task at hand for us. You guys ran the ball 11 straight times in the second half. Did you really start to feel you were wearing on the Wearing, I mean, that's part of my physical game is wearing tear. You know, so I just felt like, I mean, they starting to get tired. They didn't want to tackle. I mean, so just let me get the ball going downhill and or let any of our bats get the ball going downhill, and we'll be fine. Uh, as you can see, we did that the first three weeks in the positive games. And we know we know that coming up, people are going to have to start loading the box against us. So, I mean, they're still going to have to stop us no matter what. You mentioned the wear and tear. What do you think it is about you and Caleb that makes you guys so hard to tackle and how you You break defenses down. Like, you're running so hard, and you got an offensive line that's working, and you still got – a quarterback who can pull the ball and run or spit it out to the to a receiver, I mean, you're going to eventually get tired of it. You're going to be tired, you know, your defense is going to get tired. You know, we run a lot of inside zones, like you said, power, stuff like that. So a lot of people ain't going to want to tackle somebody that's 220 pounds, 230 pounds, 11 times in a row, like you said. So, I mean, it's a wear, it's a wear and tear on them too. But I guarantee you they felt something the next day. You got to that, though, right? Yeah, I mean. I feed off physicality. Most of my runs come after contact. So, I mean, I feed off physicality and I don't really shy away from nobody. And I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know that and a lot of people notice that. So, I mean, whoever whoever feel like they got the balls to step in the gap, that's what it is. We just getting started, I feel like. We still got a lot more football ahead of us, you know, and we got a lot more stuff we still can run that we haven't showed. So, I mean, we just getting started. We just showing what we could do. We, obviously, we know that me and Kalen and Nick Rostin and Manny could do a lot of stuff with the ball in our hands. And the kill here, you're starting to prosper too. So, we feel confident in everything we got coming. As a running back, what, what's the most important stat? What's the stat that you look at? No, fumble, don't fumble the ball. Hold on to the ball. And for me, yards after contact, you know, a lot of people pay attention to yards after contact. Our coach makes a big emphasis emphasis on yards after contact. So that's a big stat for me and uh, yards per yards per carry. Like first couple carries, I was, what, five, five and a half yards a carry. So, I mean, that's a big stat for me. I don't know about everybody else. A question marks the offensive line had in the preseason. I told y'all from the beginning, I got confidence in everybody on the offense. A lot of people haven't seen the offense line, like I said, but as you guys start to see, they're working, they're moving, you know, they're moving people, they're blocking, they're, they're running out in screens, you know, it's a young and it's an athletic offensive line. So, like I said, I'm confident in everything we do, everything he calls, everything we run. So, I mean, um, whatever the Whatever he challenges us with this week, we're going to take the challenge and run with it. We're not shy, Like I said, we're not shying down. We're not running from nobody. Any difference in that offensive line from last year? I mean, besides being on the Nah, only thing is, you just miss. Okay, Christian Westerman, I mean, he was a, he's a drafted guard. I mean, like, you can't really speak about Like, you can't really speak about that. That's the only missing piece. But as you can see, you got Sam Jones, and then you got Stephon uh, McCray playing guard. So it's like, we're not really missing anything. I mean, like they can run, they can block, they can do everything he did. So I'm just like I said, I got the most confidence in this offensive line and in our offensive scheme. Can't I feel like we just getting started. We putting up big numbers against everybody so far. So I mean, we just showing what we can do. I mean, defense hurting. They tired of tackling. I mean, I'm running hard, he running hard. That's really it. I mean, I'm just breaking it down.
That's how I feel. I'm just breaking the defense down. Go ahead. Now, once you get in the bulk of me, you got to go get a bulk of him too. So you pick your poison. If you, he can go in, break a defense down, not go in, and then you still got to tackle me. So it's basically they're picking their poison with me or him or Nick Rawson in the game. So, I mean, you can come send a gut blitz if you want to, or you can come and try to have a safety feel uh, over running linebacker if you want. It's just, like I said, pick your poison, and if you got the balls to fill the gap, then you're going to feel, you're gonna feel something. Uh, I mean, Manny's no regular quarterback in my eyes. He's 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 tough as nails. So um, anytime he gets hit, he pops right back up, and we keep playing. So that's what football's about: being able to, you know, pop up after being hit or you know anything. You know, just getting right back up and going back to playing football. We didn't have a chance to talk to you after Friday's game, but on the punt return, what, what were you trying to do there? Just stop the ball from, from rolling, probably 10, 15 more yards. It kind of came hot, misjudged the ball. When, when's the last time you, you were at back on the in a game? Mm, not since high school. I haven't done it in a while. But I practice it every day, so. Even with that second, second half, you guys still committed to the run game. Did you feel fresher than any other team the first I mean, we, I mean this, we always talk about this, but um, it's just Coach Grizz and how we work out over the summer. We've been able to outlast all of our opponents as far, so that's what we continue to do is just keep playing and wear our opponents down until the point where they can't hang with us no more. The only question I'm about the quarterback and the offensive line that we've seen is really gratifying to see how they're playing for you to obviously having to train over. I mean, we're not the ones that had the questions. That was you guys. So we knew what we had on this football team. That was more, I don't know, what you guys thought. So. Did you feel like... Uh, in previous years, did you guys maybe abandon the run a little bit at times? Mm, previous years, I wasn't really as part of a part of it as much as I am now. So, um, I don't know. I, I we always just take what the defense gives us. It's, it's, you know, since ever since I came here. So, whether it was Coach Mike Norvell or Coach Lindsey, that's what we plan to do. And so, you know, if we throw the ball a little bit more than we run it, you know, it's it's because that's what they've given us. Could you and Demario and Nick, what makes you get so hard to tackle? Any great running back has that ability. Um, just keep being able to keep our balance, and uh, I always say, not not letting a defender get a, a clean hit on you. Maybe at the last second, moving to the side, or, or you know, one thing or another. Just not being able to give them a clear shot. What's your mindset like when you get the ball? You get the end zone, touchdown um, on every play. It doesn't matter if it's third and two. I want to go all the way. So it's just a mindset. Um, running hard is you know every time the ball is in your hands. Just teamwork. Um, you know, there's there were some mistakes that were made. You know, one on one on my part. So I feel like I did a great job. You know, the rest of the game, keeping my head up and making plays. You know, to help us win the football game. So that's on everybody. Um, if you make a mistake, you know, make up for it and, and play football. And it's not about just one person. It's about 11 people at all times. I'm not worried. I'm not really worried about it. Honestly, they can they can do what they want. You load the box, and that means we have something else. Maybe somebody over the top or something in the middle. So I mean, like Demario, I heard Demario saying, "Pick your poison." Um, and that's really what it is. Uh, I mean, we've always worked together really good. Um, and it's just being able to have a fresh running back at, at all times. And, you know, he goes in there, he gets four or five carries, and then they pop him out, and I haven't gotten any carries yet. And they put me in, and I'm fresh. And we just rotate back and forth to the point where um, we just keep coming at the defense. And I know they have to be thinking, like, geez, this is it's kind of ridiculous. You know, running backs coming in with fresh legs every time, and, and that, that helps us out a lot.